home becomes a teaching tool for Milwaukee firefighters. They set this attic fire on purpose to learn how to better protect other firefighters. Charles Benson was there for an intense training exercise. From the outside, black smoke and flames shooting from a window don't tell the whole story. You have to go inside the hot zone and watch the four strategically placed cameras to see how quickly a fire can spread. The upper right camera is from the second floor. The upper left is a bedroom in the attic. What we specifically want to get is the fire behavior of how the fire moves throughout the structure. It's the hidden smoke and fire that concerns firefighter safety director Steve Kerber with Underwriters Laboratories, specifically in attics built with short walls or knee walls, and Milwaukee has lots of them. And as they open up the knee walls, things can go bad really quickly because there's a lot of energy behind those walls. So this is one of the most dangerous places for a firefighter? Very dangerous. In essence, this home is being turned into a lab that will provide firefighters critical information about attic fires with 100 sensors and cameras throughout this house. So we're looking at better ways to deal with these types of fires. Fires that kill residents and firefighters. This is 100% aimed at finding the most efficient, scientific, and experiential based tactic and strategy to keep ourselves safe and do the most good for the most people, particularly the citizens that we serve. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. And more fires are planned for this week. This research is all part of a $1 million federal grant to study attic fires around the country.